Um, but hey, we're talking about A-listers here. Jim Carrey is a, attached to this project. I didn't see that coming. That's amazing. It's He's so unbelievable. Good. Yeah, He's yeah. having the time of his life in this. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and it was yeah, it was fun to watch because you know I was on set with him for several scenes and and you punched him. <laughs> I punched him several times. Yeah. He punched me several times. <laughs> Wait, don't hurt him. <laughs> it's like yes. I, when do you ever get? Who can claim that? No, very no few one, people very in the few universe. People. Um, it was great. It was cool because he's been away from features for I don't, know, I don't want to get it wrong, but like you know nine he ten had years. A little, little time off. Yeah. Um, maybe I'm off on that, but to see him step back in you know in the frame on set, having the time of his life, like enjoying himself so much, was like a treat for me because I grew up emulating him and impersonating him and doing all his Have you color sketches. You walked into that one. What's your oh, Jim Carrey impersonation? Wanna... Fire Marshal Bill. Fire Marshal Bill here. Oh my goodness. I mean, I, it was like, he was like, that was fantastic. that's who I want to be. Can I do be? my impression of Jim yeah. Carrey? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The Majestic. <laughs> anyway, there's that one called it. The Majestic yes. where he sees a movie yes. called The Majestic. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, was that, uh, that wasn't the uh, Ed Harris, um, uh, the Truman Show, no? No. That's it's just called The Majestic. Yeah, there's a movie called The Majestic. Okay. By the way, that was an incredible Fire Marshal Bill. Oh, thanks. I was I really do, impressed I was just with nervous it. to do it in front of Jim. Yeah. Oh, right uh, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Alrighty then. He did a really good Fire Marshal Bill. Oh, he did? Really good. Oh my god, that's great. So I kind of wanted to return That'll the favor. Can laugh. you do a good... James Masters, uh, Masters. <laughs> no, not yet. I can't. No. No, I'm not that good looking. Oh. There you go. <laughs> good morning, my rural chum. Mr. Dr. Robotnik. This movie it just looked like you were having a blast, I and was. I feel like watching it, there was like almost an amalgamation of previous characters that you've played that were surfacing throughout <laughs> this movie, and it was just like you just pulling out your repertoire. Was that the case? I was just having a blast. Yeah. You know, I was just really happy to be doing absolute insanity again. You know, just really having fun. And uh, taking the evil, you know, mixing a little of this and a little of that. And, and, uh, and I also love the character because he's kind of cutting edge in a, in a wild way. I mean, he's AI. Uh, by the way, that face t hurt a lot to do. I've been uh, practicing. <laughs> that's right, no, you I draw Will it. Locke after a while. <laughs> how did how was that getting into place? Because obviously, um, if you do know the history of Sonic, he looks a, a little bit different to that. But yeah, you know, he's called Eggman for a reason. Sure, um, sure. But what was it like, sort of like modernizing? He's evolving. Yeah, he's evolving. You know, he's got to evolve. He's got to start somewhere. You know, so we're going to show how all that happens. And I kind of yeah. love the fact that he's utilizing technology because really it's from a video game, which was the birth of this technology yeah. that surfaced as yeah. well. And it's so much the concern, isn't it? Everybody, you know, like they just put a chip in someone's head and everybody's going like, do I have to have a chip in my head? You know, kind of thing. Will I be talking to a human being or the Library of Congress? You know, it's a, it's a really interesting little conundrum we're in, you know? With drones as well? Yeah, with everything. The whole thing, the, the cars that drive themselves. And it's an option right now, you know, but, uh, you know, hope you don't have outstanding tickets because you will be driven to the police station. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, is that kind of something that's a little unnerving, the fact that technology is coming at us as fast as Sonic is? Well, you know, these things happen for a reason. I, for me, it's an opportunity to express that angst through this wild character, you know, and it's just, we've just scratched the surface. You know, I have all kinds of wild ideas about where he can go and, and uh, how he can take over the world, you know, and it's, uh, it's really going to be fun to explore. Oh, trip! Woo -woo! This can't be happening to me. Oh my God, stop the car right what? now. What? The world's largest rubber band ball? I actually, to wrap things up, seven years ago, I was able to interview you. And my claim to fame is that I challenged you to a face-off and I won. Yeah. I was just wondering, can you get that guy up yet? Mm -hmm. The other way. Come on, him! Yes, you did it! Oh, wow. There you go, the seven years oh, in the making. Thank you. <laughs>